This is my micro adjustment mechanism. It was featured in my posting on the super accurate crosscut sled, and here it is reconstructed with a few improvements. There's a couple main parts. You have the thumb wheel here in the center. It's been modified to have five sides to it. You can see one through five. And I have a scale here on the back that shows the number of uh, thousandths of an inch that you're moving. And this side here is the fixed fence. This stays on the fixed end of your jig. And over here is the moving fence. That's where the moving part of your jig goes. <clears throat> it really doesn't matter which way, but for the purpose of keeping track of the movement, uh, if you if you construct it in this way, with the larger threaded rod, the 5 16th inch, um, 20 threads per inch, I'm sorry, 18 thread per inch on this side, and the 1 quarter 20 on this side, uh, as you um, turn this, it will let out more than this will take in, and you will actually, as this thumb wheel moves towards from the left to the right, your movable fence will also move from left to right. So just a quick demonstration. Uh, one of the things that's difficult about this is getting these two rods to be exactly in line with each other. And you'll see as I start to move this that there's a slight misalignment in here. And so you're not going to get an actual one thousandth of an inch um, accuracy with this. That it's actually going to be a little bit less because of the wobble on this. But uh, this is designed to kind of give you an easy uh, change. So let me just turn this back a little bit. And you can see the line I have on the edge of the thumb wheel is lined up with the zero on my scale. And on this side of my moving fence you can see that the threaded rod is just at the end and on the other side on the moving end we have a couple inches of, of threaded rod there. So as I go and, and turn this um, we'll just turn it uh, one rotation here if we turn it one rotation you can see that our line here has moved over to the um, the five mark, so we've moved five thousandths of an inch, and you can see there's a little bit more space here between the thumb wheel and the fixed fence, and on the movable side we have a little bit more thread here. So just to kind of fast forward this a little bit, you can see what's going to happen. There's a little bit of uh, wobble in the fence because of the misalignment, but as we thread it through, and say we're here at uh, 75 thousandths pretty close um, our movement in our fence has been very little in 75 thousandths of an inch actually but you can see how much of the threaded rod has moved through here and how far our adjustment wheel has moved away from the fence. So that's basically how this works um, as you rotate this and the um, more closely that you get the two ends together obviously the, the less wobble you're going to get as you move this around. Um, but I have plenty of adjustment on this. I could shorten up the, uh, the nuts if I wanted to or I could just extend my scale. That's a little blurry there. I could just extend my scale a little bit to do more than um, one tenth of an inch, but um, that is my fine adjustment mechanism. We'll have a uh, a blog on how to construct this, but I'm sure most of you, uh, having an understanding of how this works, won't need it. Uh, this just gives you a visual of how my fine adjustment wheel operates.